According to Livestrong.com, the American Lung Association reports that 30,000 people are killed by car emissions annually in the United States alone. Air pollution also causes numerous respiratory and cardiovascular problems and may aggravate pre-existing conditions such as asthma. More than half of Americans live in areas that fail to meet federal air quality standards at least several days during the year. I know personally that I don't want to be one of the 30,000 people that die from air pollution each year. What about you? Do you want to do something about the number of people killed by air pollution each year? Well, I want you to join the fight to help reduce air pollution. One way that you can personally help is by commuting by bike instead of in your car. I have done a lot of research to see how commuting by bike can be better than driving a car. I, have also, I also have many family members and family friends that chose to ride their bikes and I have learned from them how it can benefit people. Commuting by bike instead of by car will help the environment, it will help people stay in shape, and it is more affordable than driving a car. Cars let off a lot of emission. By choosing to ride a bike, you can help save the environment. According to Bike Doctor, motor vehicle emissions represent 31% of total carbon dioxide, 81% of carbon monoxide, and 49% of nitrogen oxide released in the U.S. And according, that's according to the Green Commuter, a publication of the Clean Air Council. A short four-mile round trip by bicycle keeps about 15 pounds of pollutants out of the air we breathe. That's according to the World Watch Institute. Vehicles contribute to much of the pollutants released in the atmosphere. If we could cut back on driving, that would help reduce the amount of pollutants in the air tremendously. For a four-mile trip, 15 pounds is a lot of, 14 pounds of pollutants is a lot. Just think for, about how much it would, how much it would help by commuting by bike. This is something that does, this is something that does not have to be done every day, but can be done a couple times, once a week or so. If you rode your bike to the store, or to work, it is only a few miles away, it would take about the same time as it would to drive. Bikes get you closer parking spots and can be faster. It also saves you the hassle of trying to find a parking spot, which can be very frustrating at times. By biking, you would save the earth. If people see you biking, who knows, they can do it too. Not only is biking great for the environment, it's great for your body. Commuting by bike can help you stay in shape. According to Harvard Heart Letter, still a 2016 study in the journal's circulation found that people who biked regularly had about 15% fewer heart attacks than did non-cyclists. Even as little as half an hour of biking per week was li linked to lower rates of heart disease. Another study found that bicycle commuters were less likely to have conditions that raise heart disease risk, including high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or prediabetes, compared with people who used public transport or drove to work. Everyone wants to be as healthy as possible. Riding your bike is a great way to do that. When people start to get older, some start to feel about their bad habits catching up to them and, having, and causing them to have health problems. Riding your bike will help reduce that risk and could potentially help you live longer. If your family has a, had, a risk, had a history of any of these problems, biking is a good way for you to reduce that risk. According to I Love Bicycling, bicycle commuting burns an average of 540 calories per hour. Compared to swimming and running, you burn about the same number of calories. However, compared to Zumba, walking, yoga, or weightlifting, you burn much more calories. In a typical hour of these activities, you'd only burn about 350 calories at most. Not only do you burn more calories, you don't have to take time of the rest of your day to work out. You get your workout done on the way to and from work. I understand that most people are very busy and are tired or worn out after work. By riding your bike, it would give you a chance to do other things, such as take a nap, hang out with friends, or get stuff done around the house since you've already got your workout done for the day. By commuting by bike, you would kill two birds with one stone. You get a workout and you save money. Riding a bike is much more affordable than driving a car. According to Business Insider, due to rising fuel costs and tire upkeep, the cost of owning a car increased nearly 2% in 2012 to $8,946, according to AAA. It cost just $308 per year to keep up bikes nearly 30 times less than cars. According to the Sierra Club, if American drivers were to make just one four mile round trip each week with a bicycle instead of a car, they would save nearly two billion gallons of gas at $4 per gallon. Total savings would be 7.3 billion a year. Personally, I think one of the worst feelings is when you're filling up your car or truck and you see how much money you're pouring into the gas tank. It hurts and sometimes makes me want to cry. So whenever I get the chance to avoid filling up my tank, I am very happy.
Biking instead of driving gives me that opportunity and could give you the opportunity to if you choose. I don't know anyone who doesn't want some extra spending money. By biking to work instead of driving, you could have a lot of extra spending money to spend on other things. Do you want to go out and eat, a, eat dinner instead of cooking at home? Would you like to buy those extra pair of shoes you really like? Would you like to take a weekend trip instead of staying at home? These are all things that you can do with the extra money you saved. Before I started my speech, I passed out a visual aid. It's a flyer I created for National Biking Day, National Bike to Work Day, which is on May 17th, 2019. In conclusion, riding your bike while commuting instead of driving would be a great way to exercise while doing your part to reduce the pollution in the world. First, I discussed how biking would help save the earth. Second, I discussed how biking will keep you in shape. And finally, I discussed how biking is more affordable than driving. Something has got to be done about the amount of deaths related to air pollution. If something's not done about it, you or a loved one could be the next one to die from air pollution. You can help reduce the amount. Even if it's only commuting on a bike to the grocery store or to work once a week, any little bit helps. Challenge your friends, challenge your family, and tell them to consider riding one day instead of driving. Who knows, they may love it, and they may start to get people doing it, and before you know it, half the town could be doing it. Who doesn't want to save the world, save money, and exercise all at the same time? It only takes one person to start a movement. Is that person going to be you? So next time you're getting ready to go somewhere, consider riding your bike.